favorite bet of match week five in the Champions League. I like Villarreal. I think you're getting a pretty good number to go against Manchester United, who are being the prices being inflated on because they let go of Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. So I'll go against the new manager bounce. Villarreal, the Yellow Submarine at home. Uh, they're plus 185 right now. That number might tick up as more people bet into uh, the new manager bounce for United. BJ, what's your favorite bet this week? Manchester City minus 145 against PSG. Manchester City was really unlucky to lose in Paris the last time these two met. Uh, they won on expected goals 1.9 to 0.8. They basically lived inside PSG's final third, and that's the biggest thing in this match is that PSG is a team that's really used to having the ball, especially in league one when they can dominate some of the smaller sides, but we've seen it consistently in Champions League past when they have to face a team like Manchester City or Bayern Munich. They're not going to uh, have a large share of the possession, and if they want to try to play an open game with Pep Guardiola, that's just a nightmare matchup for them because they're very average in the midfield, and very average defensively, and Manchester City consistently in the Champions League has dominated possession, lived inside PSG's final third, and I think that'll be another similar match because PSG plays very arrogant when they have three of the best attacking players in the world because those three don't defend. So basically what you're saying is we're trying to try to defend seven on 10 against one of the best attacking teams in the world. And they're not going to be able to do any build-up play either because, you know, Manchester City's press getting them forward is going to force Dino Rama to send it long and just hope that Mbappe, Messi, or Neymar can create something. And if Manchester City scores first here and this game turns open, uh, it's a nightmare matchup for PSG. So uh, I have Manchester City projected at minus 242. So uh, I love them at minus 145. Anthony, bring it home. Yeah, RB Leipzig plus 105 on the money line. Project them to be minus money favorites here. You're getting a little bit of extra value because they got thumped at the weekend by Hoffenheim, lost 2-0 on the road. That shifted this line. They were minus 110, now they're plus 105. I think it's a bit of an overreaction. When we look at Leipzig, they lost to Bruges the first time these two teams met in Leipzig. Leipzig was playing much worse than they were less organized defensively. They were not quite firing, but the emergence of Christopher and Kunku, the emergence of... Uh, Solbushai as well makes them a better attacking team, one that can overwhelm uh, Club Bruges here. And I think given that they're still playing for Europa League spot, there's still quite a bit on the line here. Marsh will want to keep them in Europe to help secure his job. Leipzig should not be plus money here. They're a much better team. And that's why I like them to win this game, take all three points and potentially secure their spot in Europa League for the remainder of the season. 